Hello everybody, this is Omar from Tutorials Hub and in this video we are going to be covering how to synchronize Obsidian with iCloud. Now before we get started, make sure to head over to the link in the description of this video from where you can simply donate to our channel. So if you feel like our content is valuable, we would really appreciate if you leave us a tip. That will help us a lot. Obsidian have multi integrations uh, that you can utilize on different platforms. So they have a detailed guide for your synchronization your node uh, notes across different uh, devices. So we're going to be scrolling down to the iPhone section. So you can see we have uh, iCloud in here, which we are going to be covering in this video. So basically Obsidian can use iCloud drive as local file system as well. And how so when utilizing iCloud drive on Mac OS, make sure to upgrade your desktop apps install version to 0.13.0 or later. Additionally, ensure that you do not surpass your iCloud storage limit as exceeding it could lead to syncing uh, interruptions. Now a good tip here is that ensure that you disable optimized Mac storage in iCloud Drive settings before syncing your Obsidian Vault using iCloud Drive on Mac OS. Failing to uh, disable this feature could cause iCloud Drive to offload your files, rendering them unusable by Obsidian and potentially leading to unexpected unex behavior. So that should be um, kept in mind. To simply create a new vault on your iCloud Drive, tap on create new vault. In the vault name, enter the name of your vault and enable store in iCloud. So make sure the permissions are properly allowed and tap on create and Obsidian has created a new folder inside your iCloud Drive now. Now on your computer, you can open Obsidian and add the right of open folder as a vault. Select open, navigate to iCloud Drive and Obsidian. Then select the folder with the name of the vault you want to sync and it is pretty much done. So basically that's a quick and easy method on how you can do so. And if you found this tutorial helpful or if it guided you, make sure to head over to the link in the description to support this channel as it is going to be helping us a lot. Also make sure to head over to Tutorials Hub for more videos like these and thank you so much for watching.